This project really is about partnerships and there's a, a lot that has to go into it. It's not just done by one person or just a few people. You really have to pull in the expertise of a lot of folks, um, not just in the healthcare community, but also in the local community. We have to partner with our banks. We have to partner with uh, uh, the, the local um, fire department and things like that. So to bring this to fruition, and I think those partnerships are very important to us. And it's also very important to us to keep this local as much as possible. You know, healthcare is the, the, the most highly regulated industry in the world. And uh, it's important that we have the expertise around that helps us, that knows all that, and to help us build this, um, this facility to the top of standards possible. I focus on economic development, but not so much about just bringing new companies here, but about quality of life amenities for our existing community members and those people who come and visit our community. And this project does so much to add to the quality of life. It adds additional um, beds to our ER room and adds additional hospital beds. And you know, as our population continues to age a bit, it is a much needed amenity for our population that has increased in size since the hospital was first built in 1993. This hospital really means a lot to us. Our general superintendent, hands up Doug right there, he lives three miles down the road and for the last couple of years he has been bugging me non-stop saying you gotta get that job, you gotta get that job. So I was talking with him and uh, I said Doug you know the hospital right? He said John. I, I volunteered for 16 years for the fire department. I've been in the emergency room 25 times doing CPR next to the docks. So it, it really is our local hospital. So the more we can provide our senior citizens and our citizens here locally, the better it is for our residents and for our community in keeping those resources here. Having this facility here, it's very, very important to us in terms of being able to keep our resources local um, and not have to um, you know, send our, our, our ambulances in particular um, you know, into uh, other areas outside of Douglas County. We're getting uh, bigger. We're almost at 50,000 residents and with that uh, we kind of have a responsibility to provide those services uh, that are necessary for the community.